and what's happening guys this is the club of the man 1993 coming at you for the 25th episode of wwe turn alert we're gonna take a look at a heel turn that seemingly took place last week on raw that i was more confident happened after tonight's episode of raw even though it's not a big one but it was somebody i think for the second time this year and probably a third time as well uh, tomorrow on smackdown when the bludgeon brothers return um but this is the second time this year I've had to do the same person um, in two in in one year for two different turns. As earlier in this year, this person did turn babyface right before WrestleMania um, on um, as she was a protege of Charlotte before going on a really dull face run and not being used at all. And then last week on Raw in the qualifying match for the final spot for Team Raw, it seemed that she had turned heel again, and she pretty much. Made it seem like she was tonight on Raw after jobbing to Asuka. And that's Dana Brooke. Uh, Dana Brooke. So, again, as I said, she turned face at the beginning of the year. I believe the first time of her career she was a baby face. She was a heel in NXT when she and Emma were in alliance. And then um, when Emma went back up to the main roster, um, Dana went up with her. And it looked like they were going to keep them together. And it could have worked out on the main roster for them. But then Emma got hurt. And... I mean, no offense, but besides, you know, I only watched an excuse for a few months or like a little over, a little under a year because I've seen you know, the takeovers and such. I never really seen Dana Brooke as a singles competitor. I really more so saw her as like, you know, a protege or, you know, being part of an alliance. I didn't know how she was going to be, like, you know, on her own. And, um... When she split up from Charlotte, I'm like, okay, maybe this face turn will give her some fresh. So she got a good reaction when she turned on Charlotte earlier this year. They did nothing with her. She was on maybe main event a couple times, what I read in the um, main event results, just so I know who not to expect on the show tonight, um, well, for, on that episode of Raw. And she was, like, never really on TV. And then last week, she um, was in the qualifying match. And then she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Asuka. And Asuka just, you know, took her down pretty much. And then set up for a match tonight that she just pretty much job to. Um, just at this point, I, with Emma gone, and, you know, it looks like their alliance is not going to be reunited, of course, since Emma's gone. I think they, they should just go back to NXT, because if not... I don't really see her going anywhere, even if they, they revert her back to a heel, which is what she seems to be, you know, have a better character with as far as, but as far as a singles competitor, I think she needs to just, you know, just revamp, go down to NXT, polish up, and then come back up. Because, like Apollo Crews, she was brought up way too early. So either way, this heel turns out not going to do much different for her. They pretty much did just so she can job to Asuka for the most part. But that's pretty much all I really can say about Dana Brooke, um, Turning back to her heel role this year, um, what are your thoughts on Dana Brooke turning heel? Do you think like she does have the potential? Do you think she go back to NXT? Do you think this could work out in the long run for her? Don't know. Leave your thoughts on the comment section below. As always, please click that like and subscribe for more content on this channel. Follow me on Twitter at TheManAirboy93 and stay tuned for more WWE Turn Alert.